Verizon Wireless has agreed to sell $1.9 billion worth of wireless spectrum to its chief rival, AT&T. Wireless spectrum is what allows wireless devices like cell phones to work. As more and more smartphones flood the market, major wireless providers like Verizon and AT&T have found they need more spectrum than they currently have. According to AT&T, the new bandwidth will allow for an increase in 4G LTE services. AT&T says it plans to reach 300 million people in the U.S. with its 4G LTE network by the end of 2014. The sale to AT&T comes after Verizon purchased $3.6 billion worth of spectrum from major cable companies back in 2012. Ars Technica reports in order for Verizon to get regulatory approval to purchase the spectrum in 2012, it had to agree to sell much of that spectrum soon after the purchase. The New York Times tech blog reports the new spectrum license is sold to AT&T are in the 700 megahertz frequency and will reach millions of people across the United States. Spectrum licenses that would cover 43 million people across 18 states, including California, Colorado, Florida, New York, and Virginia. But Slashgear reports buying and selling Spectrum isn't new. Wireless providers have been doing it for a long time. In fact, at the same time Verizon is selling its 700 megahertz Spectrum to AT&T, it's also in talks about purchasing some of AT&T's Spectrum. AT&T's purchase is pending approval from the Federal Communications Commission and the Department of Justice, so customers may not see a difference until the second half of 2013. I'm Jim Flink for Newsy.